been in operation for over a hundred years. So our reporter, Ken Gashuhi, will be bringing us the latest with regard to that a bit later on. Moving on now, a petition seeking the removal of Chief Justice Martha Kome has been filed. Now, Michael Kojo Otieno's petition is the first before the Judicial Service Commission, JSC, seeking for the removal of CJ Martha Kome. Now, in his petition, Kojo states that the CJ failed to follow the law in appointing members of the tax appeal. Kojo argues that the CJ was not transparent and diligent in the process, adding that she discriminated persons who had applied to be members of the board. You want to have power to rule over them. The third ambit uh, is about the national values and principles of good governance, anchored in Article 10. Uh, that is, uh, uh, the rule of law is there, uh, impartiality is there, uh, we also have got uh, democracies there and human rights. Those persons who had applied for those given positions, I did not get the opportunity to, 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 be, uh, to be appointed. Then definitely defeats the cause of justice. Hence, uh, the cadre which has been placed, and uh, this one was anchored in one of the rulings of the Supreme Court, whereby the judges unanimously indicated that uh, the preamble of the Judicial Service Code of Conduct Ethics based on Section 5.1 of the Public Officers Ethics Act, Number 4, 2003, provides that the code is intended to establish standards of ethical conduct of judicial officers to be applied consistently with constitutional requirement. That is a legislation from parliament. Hence, makes her unfit to hold public 